beer time. So as I'm sitting here alone in my interesting hotel in Minneapolis, Minnesota, what else is there to do than to have some local beer, which I've been doing all night, if you can't tell. But I did find one very interesting beer that the local hotel bartender let me take up to my room. Thanks, Ben. Um, I haven't heard of anything like this before and just had to try it. We got the Indeed Brewing Company Lavender Sunflower Honey and Dates, which is LSD for the acronym. Uh, we got this cool, um, very psychedelic can, of course, suiting with the acronym, but Lavender is pretty rare in beer. It's not often we see that, right? Sunflower honey, sure. And dates. I like dates, but I haven't really had a date beer. So let's give it a go. I think we have a, a pretty high ABV. I think the AB, it was um, 7.2, but the IBUs are, I believe, 20. So obviously, uh, hop heads uh, shy away. Actually, uh, you can smell the lavender right off the bat. I'm gonna pour out a little bit of this and give it a go. It's already a bit late here, but I was extremely intrigued by this one. This one just caught my eye immediately. Do have a few other local Minnesota beers to give a go this week, but uh, I was actually pretty excited to give this one a try immediately. And I poured like an idiot, so let's get right into it. That's a really unique taste. It's, it's very unique. Um, I feel like the honey warmth is there. And it, um, it's a very like earthy honey, which is I guess where they're getting this like whole sunflower honey idea the lavender is definitely there I do like lavender quite a bit in a beverage I like hibiscus too which uh, I know a lot of people don't like but the lavender's there <clears throat> there is a bit of that honey warmth um, the dates though I'm not sure if I'm catching a whole bunch of that Yeah, not really. It's, it's a bunch of lavender. It really is. It's, it's just a, like a lavender honey ale, farmhouse ale, kind of. Um, the dates might as well not be listed. Um, there's no bitterness to this at all, obviously, with a 20 IBU. It's a, excruciatingly low. Um, but it is an okay beer. Nothing incredible, but it is very... Um, unique and original which is always a plus right um, also note to note it has summit hops and I can't recall a single time I've had a beer that had summit hops so that, that's interesting that's that's cool I don't know if that's like more of a regional thing or it just paired well with the lavender whatever it might be I might have had them before never noticed but for that to be the uh, call out for the primary hop is a bit interesting as well. Um, as I sit here with the Mr. Meeseeks episode of Rick and Morty, because there's nothing better on television, and I'm hours and hours away from anyone I know. So, what do you do best? You, you get a beer from the hotel bar, right? It is very floral, plenty of lavender, a bit of that honey, earthy honey taste. The dates, as I said, I, I'm still not getting whatsoever. Honestly, I actually would prefer a bit more date flavor. Dates have a good taste. It's like the, you know, God tier of raisins, if you will. Uh, and it probably would have sweetened and even warmed up everything more. Um, probably what... I was kind of excited about dates in a beer, as silly as that is. 
uh, but the lavender's full power there. It's a very light, relatively refreshing, I wouldn't say crisp beer. Uh, really cool can art, super original and interesting in the first place. It's worth a try no matter what. It's not going to go down as one of my favorites, but it, it was fun to have and fun to experience here in its, its local state. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.